Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Okay so today's video is obviously not the same production quality you guys are used to but as you can see I am just kind of browsing through Pennington's online right now and I haven't been to the store in like I want to say closer to like two years. It's been a while. So I kind of feel like going to do a little shopping. So I think I'm going to go and do a little trying on. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything today. So I'm going to go do a little bit of like a... And I thought I would take you guys along. So grab a cat. <laughs> grab a cat. I keep saying that. Grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. <laughs> All right, so first up is this beautiful black maxi dress. It's kind of hard to spot, but it does have this like really pretty embroider detail right along the bust. And then the bottom is just beautiful and flowy and around the waist, it's purely elastic band. So super comfortable on the body. I do believe I was wearing this in a 3X and it's pretty roomy, really comfortable. I would probably want to wear it braless though. So if I did decide to go back and get it, I would want it in a 2X, but because this is clearance, I wasn't able to find it in a size smaller. I almost walked away with it, but I just kept feeling like I would love this so much more if it was in white. But now that I'm looking at it more, I kind of feel like it would make a really great dress for the fall. I know the fall's like, you know, a couple months away, but I'm already thinking about it. I'm sure some of you are already thinking about the fall as well, but it's just, it's really pretty. And I think it was on clearance with for like 20 bucks. So this next piece is also from the sale section. I love a good sale, especially when it's 60% off the sale price. I think this was like $70. So whatever 60% off of that is really good, really good deal if you ask me. And this one is in a size 1X. I wouldn't typically wear a size 1X, but like it looked pretty big, um, especially compared to the 3X. And I'm glad that I went with the 1X because it felt so much better on the body. This is a little bit of a stiffer material though, and I'm not usually fond of that, but I actually quite like the silhouette it gave me. I felt this was like a really good summer dress. Like just imagine it paired with a nice straw hat, how like beautiful and summery that would look. And it has pockets. Do you see those pockets? I just really like the skirt too. It's just so like feminine and dainty and also really, really good material. I would even be able to see myself transitioning this into like a fall piece because I mean, black and white is pretty universal and there's so many different ways that you can wear it. Real sad about the fact that I didn't bring this home with me because I went back the very next day and it wasn't there. Okay, so this two-piece suit was actually the whole reason I decided to go to Pennington's. I saw it online and the model was just killing it. I've been super into pants lately, as you'll see um, as we get along in this haul. And I was way more pleasantly surprised than I thought because sometimes I feel like it can look a little bit weird in person and not necessarily look as good, but I'm telling you, this was one of the reasons I went back the following day to get the stuff because I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I'm wearing both the top and the bottom in a 2X and typically, especially with bottoms and pants like this, I always want to go like a size up because I just feel like it looks a little better and feels like a little bit more comfortable, but the 2X was really roomy. I mean, I think overall with Pennington's, um, clothes tend to be a little bit roomier, so if you're unsure about the fit, this is pretty generous sizing. When it's untucked, clearly I'm not a fan, but tucked in or even like tied up looks really, really good. And even though this is like kind of a bit more of a pricey set, like I think together it was about a hundred bucks, the quality is so phenomenal. I was really blown away. Those pants unbelievably comfortable i can't even tell you they're so good for like traveling being around the house and also just going out i don't know if you can tell but there are buttons down the back and i don't know if i like that it's in the back i kind of wish that it was added to the front all right so these are two separate pieces again the top is in a 2x and the jeans are in a 20. these are these straight leg boot cuts 
And I feel like I'm a little bit more partial to skinny jeans. I just really like that it hugs my ankles and because I tend to have smaller thighs and smaller ankles, like jeans like this kind of awkwardly flare. I mean, it doesn't look awful and I know for a lot of people they prefer that, but I just really quite like um, the skinny jean look. I do really like the stripe down the side. I think it looks really good. I don't have any jeans like that. I kind of feel like it looks a little athletic. I'm not athletic at all. The size 20 fit. It was a little bit snugger than I expected, but to be honest with you, it was like a good comfortable fit. They're not stretchy by any means. And again, I feel like I'm really used to stretchy jeans. The top, like I said, was in a size 2X and you can see how roomy it is. I almost feel like with most of the tops I tried on, I kind of had to alter it a little bit. Um, everything's kind of made on the looser side and also kind of made to hit a little lower. So if you're somebody who likes to have tops that hit below the belly or hit at your hips, these are perfect for you. But I like showing my midriff. I think it's really sexy. I really like the look of it. And I also really, really dig this top in general. Okay, so here was my first big no. And I think that probably just has to do with the size I was wearing. I tried these pants on in a size 3X and for my personal taste, they were a little bit too loose. They kept falling and I like things to hit a little bit higher and I just couldn't get it to stay there. And the top, although super cute and I'm sure I wouldn't have an issue if I tried this on in a much smaller size, I just didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked on me, but this is actually, looking back, kind of a great outfit for somebody who's like in the work environment or something. The pants though, I will tell you, they were super comfortable. I just feel like right now I can't commit to black. There's still so much summer to enjoy, so much like pastel and like, you know, light colors to do before I really start gearing up for blacks again for fall clothing. But there is a very good chance I'm gonna go back and grab it for myself because they were really comfortable. You can see the back of the top has like a cute little bow, which I was kind of hoping was at the front. I even tried it on like that at first but just didn't work for me and really wasn't working for my personal needs. All right, again, I'm trying on two separate pieces here. The top is in a 2X and the bottoms are in a 3X. The bottoms are actually clearance, by the way, and I was very, very tempted to bring them home with me, but I just kind of felt like I probably wouldn't wear them too much, even though it was like an incredible deal. They were super comfortable. The top was at full price. I believe it was like 50 or so dollars. I have it written down here, 46, so about 50. And it's really pretty, very, very nice. But again, I just kind of felt like I wouldn't wear it. If I was like in more of a workplace, I would say this would be really, really great for like the workspace. Even this outfit is kind of like, workspace casual. Again, I don't work in an office. I don't have the best um, opinion of that. I kind of tried to unbutton this so it would sit off my shoulders like my friend Chloe did once, but the buttons themselves were like super, super hard to deal with and I just didn't feel like doing that. The color combination is really cute together. I really like that it's like soft and pastel. And even though to me, everything about this says like fall, winter time a little bit more. The colors and the color combination is just really, really good for the summer, especially like maybe colder nights or something. I don't know. I just, I'm looking back at this and I can just remember how comfortable I was in it. And now I kind of want to own it again. So last, but definitely not least, because this is probably my favorite pairing in this entire try-on haul. First off, I should say this, the top doesn't actually fit that way. I just styled it that way, as I already mentioned. I kind of played around with everything to make it more like in line with my style. But you know what? I feel like with most places, if you have a very particular style, you're gonna wear things in your particular way. So I'm wearing the top in a 3X, Definitely way too large for me. I don't know why I pulled the 3X. I almost feel like there wasn't my size available. And it was way too billowy and big as is, but then knotted with these green pants. Phenomenal, like it was a look. I'm wearing the pants in a 3X by the way. And even though I felt like they were like a little bit big, definitely nowhere as big as the black pants in a 3X, I went ahead and bought them in a 3X because I just felt like I really appreciated the fit of them, they were super comfortable on my body. I should also mention this though, that I got them on sale for $28. I believe the original price was like 
60 or so. So if you're thinking about these pants, they are on sale right now. All right, that's everything for this Inside the Change Room with Pennington's. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this is my first time um, really doing anything with Pennington's, but I actually had a really good time and I'm gonna be styling a few of these pieces in a blog post. So if you wanna check that out, just make sure you check the description. As per usual, don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.